In this video, I'm going to show you how I install an AN fitting onto a stainless steel braided line. Uh, you could use vinyl tape or you can use masking tape. I prefer the masking tape. It works better for me. Most of the time, the stainless steel braided line tends to flare out at the end. So what I do before cutting, I wrap the end of the hose with masking tape and uh, make sure when you do this, you do three to five wraps and that the wraps are nice and tight. The tighter the wrap, the better the cut. And once you're done wrapping the end of the hose, I put the hose on the vice grip right before I cut just to hold it. When you clamp down the hose to the vice grip, it doesn't need to be extremely tight, just enough to where it's gonna hold it. Another thing is when you're cutting the hose with the angle grinder, you don't need to go fast. The slower the cut, the better it's gonna come out. Now that we're done cutting the hose, we can take off the masking tape and see how it looks. It's a nice clean cut. Another thing is after you're done cutting, you might have a residue from the hose. You might want to clean that off a little bit. So uh, black residue comes right off. And now that we're done cutting the hose, we're going to put the fitting at the end of the hose. What I like to do is I put the bottom of the hose first into the fitting and little by little, I'm squeezing the end until the hose is inside the fitting. To make sure that the hose is completely in, you look inside and you make sure that it bottomed out on the fitting on the bottom. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to put the fitting on the end of the hose. What I like to do is I put a little bit of grease around the fitting so it slides in there smoothly. It doesn't have to be a lot. You can use uh, CRC, you can use um, WD-40, even grease, I prefer the grease. Just put a little bit on the end. Another thing I like to do is I like to put a little bit of masking tape, just one wrap right below the fitting. And this is just so when you put the fitting onto the hose, you'll know if the hose is sliding down as you're pushing. And now we're gonna put the fitting on the end of the hose. Make sure when you when you put it in, you're pushing the hose at the same time as you're pushing the fitting on the top and you twist. I typically twist this all the way by hand until I can't twist it anymore. And once you can't twist it anymore, I use an adjustable wrench to finish it off. I then like to wrap masking tape around the fitting. This will prevent from scratching it. I like to do a minimum of two wraps on the fitting. Just uh, wrap it on top and on the bottom. Nice and tight.
after you're done wrapping you're going to put it on the vise here you don't need to over tighten it just enough that it's snug that it'll hold that way you don't scratch the fitting now i got the adjustable wrench make sure it's on there nice and snug and start tightening it slowly Now all you have to do is take off the masking tape and you're done. Also, as you can see, the hose did not slide down while we were installing the fitting. This is why I put this tape mark to verify that. I hope you guys liked the video.